auto grouping operation of uh, dates uh, does not include weeks you cannot find them also on the time level of the timeline slicer uh, we have just years quarters months and days there are no weeks so the additional challenge for you in the do-it-yourself exercise how to create a week slicer try to do it on your own and then check together with me the solution we need to go back to the source table and create the week number column which will take the week num uh, formula in any scenario you wish there are many uh, ways you can generate the week number i will just use the one that you can find in the gregorian calendar which is it just will take monday as my uh, beginning of the week and we'll start the week in the first week of the year no matter what the day is it is always the first of january uh, of a particular year but there are many other ways how you can uh, calculate the week num with other uh, scenarios uh, we need this column and we need to insert a pivot table on that but additional puzzle in here is that i don't see the week column in here it has been created in my data source you can see it at the end of my table but it's not showing up in here why is that you always need to refresh your pivot table to make sure your expanded data source based on the expanded table uh, uh, we've created will take uh, your new field into account this is it uh, you can right now find it so we can complete the exercise by showing sum of sales by regions maybe on rows and years on columns and right now we can insert a slicer based on the week column you can also think how maybe you can uh, format the slicer if you've got plenty of weeks maybe uh, you would like to create uh, a more compact form for that and it's good to remember that you can use your left mouse and multi-select items in a row which might be useful whenever you have a slicer with numbers like this this is it for the lesson number five see you in the next lesson